Air came in one end cold, passed through fine holes inside the reactor, became very strongly heated, and produced thrust coming out the other end. Well, the advantage of direct power is that it's simpler. Holes through the reactor, comes out hot. So in principle, it's simpler. But this so-called direct cycle engine proved to have a major drawback. The downside to the direct cycle method. That led the Atomic Energy Commission scientists to propose a second kind of atomic motor called the indirect cycle. The other approach was to have, then that energy would be transferred from the reactor to a propulsion unit, a jet-like propulsion unit, through the use of, uh, of hot liquid metals. The indirect cycle has the advantage that you avoid is to have some medium between the air and the hot reactor, some other substance that will pass from the hot reactor taking heat. There were now two competing atomic motors, the simple but more dangerous direct system and the safer but complex and heavier indirect system. In the race to build the first atomic engine, 